What's up guys, Shane Starnes here. I think we can all be real for a second and say that the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus happens to be the king of Android for the time being. That being said, there are a few things that LG is doing better than the Galaxy S10 Plus with the LG G8. We're gonna cover those today. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that the LG G8 is doing better than the Galaxy S10 Plus is the deep integration of the Google Assistant. On the G8, the Google Voice Assistant is turned on by default. All I have to do is say, okay, Google, and I can begin barking commands at my phone as if it were a Google Home device. Okay, Google, what's the weather like? That can't be said for the Galaxy S10 Plus, which has Bixby as the integrated assistant. There are ways to get the Google Assistant working on the Galaxy S10, but it doesn't work out of the box. Instead, it uses Bixby, and you really have to kind of dive in to get the Google Assistant set up on that phone. The G8 also features the dedicated Google Assistant button so that you can get to the Google Assistant from any screen on your phone, and I really enjoy that deep Google Assistant integration on the LG G8. LG has a strong emphasis on audio quality with the LG G8. They're using the Crystal Sound OLED, which uses the screen's display as an extra diaphragm emitting sound from the front of the device. I feel like when I put the two phones side by side, my LG G8 does get a little bit louder and I'm getting deeper, richer sounds out of the phone. If you're into a more deeper, richer sound, then you're gonna prefer the audio quality coming out of the LG G8. LG has also decided to make the headphone jack a feature of the phone, giving it hi-fi quad DAC support. So you're gonna get the best audio quality out of this headphone jack for your wired headphones than you'll get on any other smartphone out there. Certainly better than what you're gonna get from the audio jack on the Galaxy S10 Plus. While there are a few gimmicks with the LG G8 as far as like the air control and the hand ID, those are both very useful features. If your hands are grimy and you can't touch your phone, they're not using the gimmick when it comes to security on your smartphone. The LG G8 includes a capacitive touch fingerprint scanner on the back of the phone, which is super fast, super accurate. The Galaxy S10 Plus on the other hand has the in-display fingerprint sensor. And while I personally haven't had any issues with that fingerprint sensor, I've I've heard nothing but complaints from everyone else that I know that has an S10 or an S10 Plus. So if you need a fingerprint scanner that works good fast every time, the LG G8 is probably the phone for you. If you're into face unlock, the LG G8 has a much better face unlock. They're actually using some software with machine learning to generate a 3D image of your face using the front facing camera. That can't be said for the Galaxy S10 Plus, which only generates a 2D image, which can also be spoofed by just a picture of your face or a video of your face. The LG G8, on the other hand, is not going to be as easily spoofable since it uses that machine learning to generate an actual 3D print of your face. It's gonna be much secure when you choose face unlocking on the LG G8. The fifth thing that I think that LG is doing better than the Galaxy S10 is the quick charging. So the LG G8 does come with quick charge 3.0. The Galaxy S10 Plus only comes with quick charge 2.0 and Quick Charge 2.0 has been featured in their phones since the Galaxy S4. So it's really time for a charging upgrade in Samsung devices. LG G8, they're still on Quick Charge 3.0, but it's better than Quick Charge 2.0. So if you need a faster charge, the LG G8 is probably the phone for you. Price and overall value is another reason why you might consider the LG G8 instead of the Galaxy S10 Plus. The Galaxy S10 Plus is going to set you back $1,000 for the base model, while the LG G8 is only going to set you back $800, and that's if you get no discount. So like right now, AT&T has a discount on the G8 if you pre-order. You can actually get the phone for free and they'll give you a $200 bill credit. T-Mobile currently has a deal where you can get $300 off the price of the $800 phone, making it a $500 phone. So there are tons of deals out there where you can actually get the LG G8 at a super reasonable price. Basically, it's priced right around the same price as mid-rangers if you get the right deal. And for that reason, you may want to consider the LG G8 instead of the Galaxy S10 Plus. So I'm not even going to lie, the Galaxy S10 Plus, in my opinion, is an overall better phone than the LG G8, but the LG G8 is no slouch, and there are several reasons why you might want to consider it over the Galaxy S10 Plus. That about wraps it up for this video. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks guys for watching, be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.